بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليال العشر والشفع والوطن والليل إذا يسر هل في ذلك قسم لذي حجر صدق الله مولانا العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم من المحترم دوست وعزيز بزرگ my dear respected brothers friends elders, mothers and sisters listening at home. We are about to embark on the most, the 10 most important uh, days of the year. It is the 29th of Dhul Qadha today and possibly if the moon for Dhul Hijjah is sighted tonight then the, 20, the first of Dhul Hijjah will commence tonight and tomorrow will be the first of Dhul Hijjah. And if it is a complete month and the moon isn't sighted tonight, then Sunday will be the first of Dhul Hijjah. And as we are all aware that the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are the most important 10 days throughout the year. Wal Fajri wa Layali na Ashr, Wal Shafi wa Wat, Wal Layli ida Yasr. You know, Subhanallah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers to these most important days in 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 the most beautiful manner in the Quran, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. Wal Fajr. First, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala takes an oath by Fajr, by dawn, and we all know the importance of the time of Fajr. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala goes on to take an oath, Wala Yalin Ashr, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala takes an oath by the ten nights, Wala Yalin Ashr, and majority of the Mufassirun, they are of the opinion that, and they have commentated that the ten nights are referring to the ten nights of Dhul Hijjah. wal Watr. So Allah first takes an oath of Wal Fajr, then Walayalin Ashr, the ten nights. Washafi wal Watr. Shaf is the even day which is referring to the word shaf refers to even and water refers to odd so shaf Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to the 10th day of Dhul Hijj which is the day of Eid and the day of Naha and then wal water Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to and takes an oath by Yawm al Arafah the 9th day of Dhul Hijj and then wal layli idha yasr and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath that by the night when it departs, when it starts to depart. Now the night is, the entire night is special, but we know that the night when it starts departing and Fajr comes in, that is the time of the Hajjud. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes one oath after the other oath after another oath with regards to the first 10 days of Dhul Hajj. Mere Aziz ho yeh, das Dhul Hajjah ke jo das ayyam hai, ये पूरे साल में सबसे मुबारक अय्याम है पूरे साल में हत्ता के उलमा का ये फरमान है कि रमजान के अय्याम से भी ज्यादा बेहतर ये दस अय्याम है 
تو اس میں تطبیق کس طرح دیا جاتا ہے کہ رمضان کی جو دس راتیں ہیں وہ زیادہ افضل ہے اور ذوالحجہ کے جو دس دن ہیں وہ رمضان کے دس دنوں سے زیادہ افضل ہیں تو اللہ تعالیٰ نے ہمیں جو ہے اللہ تعالیٰ رحم الرحمین ہے اور بار بار ہمیں یہ نصیب یہ مبارک ایام اور مبارک راتیں اللہ تعالیٰ میں نصیب فرما دے تاکہ ہمارے ہم کمزور بندے ہیں کمزور بندے وی ہیو گولس وی ہیو یو نو وین بفور دا منتھ آف رمضان اپروچز وی اسٹارٹ پرپیئرنگ سم ڈونٹ پرپیئر اینڈ دین کمز دا منتھ آف رمضان دا فرسٹ فیو ڈیز چند ایام ہم عبادت میں گزارتے ہیں پھر اس کے بعد سستی ہمیں لیزینس ٹیکس اوور اینڈ سم ٹائمز وی اسٹارٹ سلیکنگ اینڈ دین کمز دا لاسٹ ٹین نائٹس آف رمضان اینڈ یو نو وی اسٹارٹ ٹو بیکم مور یو نو انگیج ود آور ورشپ اینڈ دین کمز عید اینڈ آفٹر عید وی ڈراپ اگین اینڈ دین اللہ سبحان ہو تعالیٰ آفٹر ٹو منتھس اللہ بلیسز اوز ود ٹین ڈیز اینڈ ٹین نائٹس آف دلحجہ تو میرے عزیز ہو یہ اللہ تعالیٰ کی بہت بڑی ہمارے اوپر سعادت ہے اور فضیلت ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ نے ہمیں رمضان کے دو مہینے کے دو مہینوں کے بعد فوراً ہمیں یہ جو راتیں ہیں یہ جو دن ہیں ہمیں دوبارہ نصیب فرمایا ہے رمضان میں یہ ہوتا ہے کہ رمضان سے پہلے علماء جو ہے اما وہ رمضان کی تیاری کے متعلق بیانات کرتے ہیں اسی وجہ سے کیا ہوتا ہے کہ ایک قسم کی وہ فضا ہوتی ہے ماحول پیدا ہو جاتی ہے پھر لوگ جو ہے مساجد میں خوب لگاتار آتے رہتے ہیں سو ون آف دا بیوٹیز اباؤٹ رمضان از دیٹ دا علماء دے ول پرفیئرز یو نو مینی مینی منتھس اور ویکس ان ایڈوانس اینڈ یو ہیو مینی میسیجز گوئنگ اراؤنڈ اینڈ پیپل آ مینٹلی پرفیئرنگ دیم سیلوز لوگ تیاری کرتے ہیں کہ انشاء اللہ ان رمضان آئی ریسائڈ دس مچ قرآن اور ان شاء اللہ ان رمضان آئی سیٹ دس ٹائم ٹیبل فور مائی سیلف اور پھر ہم کام میں بھی کچھ تبدیلی کر لیتے ہیں You know, if, we're, if we, we make those changes that I'm going to make sure I, I attend Fajr Salah and then after Fajr Salah I will do this and then I'll go to sleep, then I'll go to work and after work I'll come back to the masjid. Ye karte Ramazan mein. Lekin, yani, ye jo das din hai, with the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, افسوس کی بات یہ ہے کہ سب سے پہلے تو جس طرح رمضان کے لیے ہم تیاری کرتے ہیں اس طرح ان دس دنوں کی ہم اس طرح تیاری نہیں کرتے ہیں ان دس دنوں کے بارے میں بیانات بھی بہت کم ہوتے ہیں تیاری کے متعلق جو بیانات ہیں وہ بھی بہت کم ہوتے ہیں تو اکثر یہ دیکھا گیا ہے اور ہم سب اس میں شامل ہیں کہ یہ جو دس ایام ہیں اگرچہ اس میں بہت زیادہ برکتیں ہیں بہت زیادہ برکتیں حتیٰ کہ بعض علماء جو فرمایا کہ یہ رمضان کے راتوں سے ایام سے زیادہ بہتر ہے اور فضیلت ہے لیکن ہم ان فضیلتوں کو گم بیٹھتے ہیں یعنی دس از دا ریالٹی بیکاز دیز ہائپ دیٹ ٹیکس پلیس بفور دا منتھ آف رمضان وین اٹ کمس ٹو دیز ٹین ڈیز دیز نو ہائپ There's no hype. Very few people are talking about it. Now, alhamdulillah, you know, but the sad reality is with social media, social media doesn't change our mindset. Social media doesn't change our mindset. So, for example, you know, with the click, because it's, it does a, there's a research that was done, you know, because we're, you know, it's all about swiping and clicking now. So it doesn't matter how many nasiha, one person, I just want one person to like kind of put their hand up and tell me that I read a status and it changed my life. Mm. Or I read a status and it, it, you know, transformed, it did something to me, right? Many a times we have the individuals who are posting the status, they don't even do the amal themselves, right? Or once what happened, one individual sends out hadith. So I spoke to him about hadith and he said, oh, is it? And I said, yeah, you're the one who sent the hadith. Right? To get, yeah, this is uh, what's, this is the world that we're living in, right? So we, we share everything, but it doesn't really have an impact on our lives. So we do know, we do know, alhamdulillah, we do know about the first 10 days because a lot of messages and WhatsApp statuses are going around about the uh, 10 days. But we need to ask ourselves that possibly the first day of the Hijjah could be tomorrow or the day after. How many of us have started to prepare? How many of us have started to prepare? How many of us have started to talk to our family members? Ramazan ke liye to ek kisam ki tayari hoti hai na. Ke chalo, iftar mein kya khayenge? Ye bhi ek tayari hai na. Ke iftar mein kya khayenge? Sahari, what time are we going to wake up for Sahari? Right? What are you going to cook for Sahari? And then, what, 
हाउ विल आवर डे गो जूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ रमदान ये बातें होती है लेकिन इन अयाम के लिए जो है ना हमने तैयारी की है या नहीं की है ये हमें अपने आप से पूछना है वी नीड टू बिकॉज लुक वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ स्पेशल दीज डेज आर यानी ऑन दीज नाइट्स आर दिस वन हदीस ऑफ रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम सुभान अल्लाह यू नो दिस एक्चुअली आई विल शेयर टू हदीस यू नो एंड दीज टू हदीस विल बी इनफ फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ग्रेट दीज डेज आर व्हिच आर व्हिच विल इंशाल्लाह कमेंस आइदर टुमारो और द डे आफ्टर رسول اللہ ابن عباس رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ فرماتے ہیں یہ جو حدیث ہے یہ ہمارے لیے کافی ہے کہ ہم سمجھے کہ یہ ایام کیا ہے یہ وار ا دیز ڈیز سو ابن عباس رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ فرماتے ہیں کہ رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے فرمایا کہ دیر ار نو ڈیز ان وچ رائچس ڈیز ار مور بیلوڈ ٹو اللہ دین دیز 10 ڈیز اب سمجھے کہ حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سٹنگ ان فرنٹ اف دا صحابہ رائٹ اینڈ نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے دیٹ دیر ار نو ڈیز in which you know righteous deeds are performed and they are more beloved to Allah than these 10 days meaning the Allah taala ko hamari har amal mahboob hai Allah taala ko hamari har har amal mahboob hai koi namaz padhe koi roza rakhe koi tilawat kare Allah taala ko mahboob hai lekin rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam farma rahe hain ki in das dino mein jo nek amal jo nek amal humse honge wo Allah taala ko dusre dino se zyada mahboob hai yani so Allah loves all our actions right whether it be the recitation of the quran or dhikr or we we are charitable we're helping people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it but rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he wants to inform us of something he is he wants us to know that the actions the righteous deeds that are carried out in these 10 days of the hijjah are more beloved to allah than any other days to the sahaba the audience sahaba sun rahe to sahaba ko ek yani they 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 were like wala jihad fi sabil Allah ya rasulullah the, because they are the audience so they're sitting there thinking not even jihad in the in the path of Allah yani kya jihad bhi Allah ke raste mein yani what you're saying is there is, there are no actions you know that are performed in these 10 days which are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, than any other day to sahaba ne foran puch liya wala jihad fi sabil Allah ya rasulullah کہ اللہ کے راستے میں جہاد بھی اب یعنی اتنا محبوب نہیں ہے جتنا ان دنوں میں اعمال تو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے فرمایا ولا جہاد فی سبیل اللہ نو ایون جہاد ان دا پاس اف اللہ میننگ دیٹ ان انڈیویجوئل گوز اؤٹ ٹو سیف گارڈ دا دین اینڈ ہی ڈوز دا تھرو اؤٹ دا ایئر اینڈ اینی ادر ڈے بٹ ون انڈیویجوئل ہی ورشپس اللہ ون انڈیویجوئل ہی ڈوز عبادت ہی ہی ریسائٹس دا قران ہی ڈوز ذکر in these 10 days they are more beloved to Allah than any other amal even not even jihad they are more beloved to Allah than the jihad so the sahaba were like you know you can imagine because these are veterans of battle they are were the ones most probably every sahabi that was sitting there they had some form of wound from a jihad right isn't it jo sahaba wa baitein hue the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam farmaye to shayad unme se har ek jo hai wo kisi jihad se kisi jang se zakham zakhmi the لیکن اس کے باوجود آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بتانا چاہ رہے تھے کہ یہ جو دس ایام ہیں وہ اتنے محبوب ہیں ان میں اللہ تعالیٰ کی عبادت کرنا اتنے محبوب ہے کہ وہ اور کسی دنوں کے ساتھ مقابلہ ہی نہیں کر سکتے رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ You know, you get a father, um, if a child does something, on a, uh, if a child does something, and uh, the father would maybe, um, something good, then the father would reward that child. Mm-hmm. So, for example, we have uh, Muhammad Salim, you know, he's recited the Quran, his dad, Mawlana uh, Muzambil, he became really happy and he gave him one pound. And every day is, he recites the Quran, he reads one surah, his father gives him one pound. But one day, his father is so happy, He's so happy that that day when he recites the Quran, instead of one pound, his father gives him ten pounds. That is a sign that that day he, he, his father is really happy. For us to understand, in a hadith, the Prophet said that Allah has given us the 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 Allah has given us
ہاؤ کلو میں ڈیزے تو فرمایا کہ ان دس دنوں کی ایک روزہ ایک روزہ اللہ تعالیٰ اس طرح ہمیں سواب عطا فرمائیں گے گویا کہ ہم نے پورے سال روزہ رکھا ہے you know you wallahi alazim you know look at the way rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is explained to us and for us to understand that because i can sit here and tell you that the a'mal that are carried out in these 10 days are you know allah loves them but now we need to understand how much does allah actually love those actions one fast uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam explains that one fast kept in these first 10 days excluding the day of eid obviously in these 10 days which is the nine days one fast is equivalent an individual will be rewarded by allah as though he has kept a full year's fast so forget the 10 pounds what allah would give to his son where's one pound and where's 10 pounds where's one fast and when where is fast for the whole year پھر یہ نہیں بس بس روزے پر اکتفا نہیں فرمایا آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے بلکہ آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے آگے جا کے یہ بتایا ہمیں ہم سب کو تو معلوم ہے لیلت القدر وی آل نو لیلت القدر از ہاں انا انزلنا ہو فی لیلت القدر اللہ تعالی پوچھتے وما ادرا ڈو یو ایون نو وات لیلت القدر از تمہیں معلوم ہے لیلت القدر کیا ہے لیلت القدر خیر من الف شہر اللہ سز لیلت القدر از بیٹر دین ا تھاؤزنڈ منتھس کہ لیلت القدر میں کوئی بندہ عبادت کرے تو یعنی گویا کہ ہزار مہینوں سے زیادہ اللہ کی اس نے عبادت کی ہے لیکن یہاں کسی کو معلوم ہے لیلت القدر کب ہے کوئی ہے بھائی پیر صاحب رائٹ کہ بتا سکتا ہے کہ مجھے معلوم ہے کہ لیلت وی ڈونٹ نو وین لائک دس از دا ریزن وائی وی پرفارم احتقاب لیکن آقا صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ہمیں بتایا ہے کہ یو نو دا ٹین ڈیز آف ذوالحجہ دے آر سو اسپیشل ٹو اللہ سو اسپیشل دا یو فاسٹ اللہ ول ریوارڈ یو فار فاسٹنگ فار اے فل ایئر اینڈ ان دا نائٹ اف یو ڈو ورشپ اف یو کاری آؤٹ سم ایکٹ آف ورشپ اللہ ول ریوارڈ یو ایز دو یو ہیو ورشپڈ ہم ان دا نائٹ آف پاور لیلت القدر یعنی تم رات میں عبادت صبح کو تم روزہ رکھو تو اللہ تعالیٰ تمہیں اس طرح ثواب عطا فرمائیں گے گویا کہ تم نے پورے سال روزہ رکھا ہے اور راتوں کو تم عبادت کرو کوئی بندہ عشاء کی نماز پڑھ لے عشاء کے بعد کوئی ایک صورت پڑھ لے عشاء کے بعد کوئی تصویر پڑھ لے مغرب کے بعد کوئی مسجد میں بیٹھ جائے آدھ گھنٹے کے لیے کوئی ذکر کرے تو اللہ تعالیٰ کو یہ ذکر یہ قرآن کی تلاوت یہ تصویر یا یہ صدقہ اتنی محبوب ہے گویا کہ اس نے شب قدر اور لئی لطر قدر میں یہ عبادت کی ہے سو مائی ڈیئر فرینڈ واللہ اف وی ڈو ناٹ انڈرسٹینڈ ہاؤ گریٹ دیز اسپیشل ڈیز دیر آر اباؤٹ ٹو اینٹر اینڈ اف وی آر اسپینڈنگ اٹ لائک اینی اوور ڈے سو فار ایگزامپل اف اف دا فرسٹ آف ذوالحجہ از ٹمورو اف از ٹوینٹی نائن ڈیز دین فرسٹ آف ذوالحجہ ول بی ٹمورو اینڈ اف اٹس دا فل تھرٹی ڈیز آف ذوالقاعدہ then the first of Dhul-Hijjah will be on Sunday, right? So which means the night obviously precedes the day, which means um, that tomorrow after Maghrib, the, the Dhul-Hijjah will commence. Now, if that is the case, and I don't um, spend my days and nights in worshipping Allah, and I don't change my, my connection with Allah, my timetable, then seriously, uh, there's something wrong with me. There's seriously something wrong with me. We need to, uh, you know, just how for Ramadan we prepare, we mentally prepare. Even the, jo bande pure saal masjid mein nahi aate, alhamdulillah, Allah ke fazal se, wo Ramadan mein masjid mein aate. Hai na? Aate na? Ye is wajah se aate ke Ramadan mein Allah ki rahmato ki barish hoti hai. To hume sirf ye batana hai ke, ha, Allah ki rahmato ki barish Ramadan mein bhi hogi, aur hoti hai, aur ye jo das ayyam hai, in mein bhi hai. And we are desperately, desperately in need of the Rahmah of Allah. We are desperately in need of the Barakah. Because what happens is when we, you know, subhanAllah, Allah subhanAllah, you know, it's not like you don't get a boss who will tell you, you work for 10 days and I'll, I'll pay you for the whole year. <coughs> is there anyone like that? I'll work for you. Right? <laughs> If there's anyone like that, you know, we'll work for, I'll work for you. Shazam, is that okay? I'll work for them. Right? And then I'll do Fisa Bilillah for the masjid, is that okay? Right? But that's what we would do, right? We, if we found out that someone is ready to pay me 
you know, 10 days of hard work and they're ready to pay me for the full year. That, that is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and I'm, I don't, like here, don't please, don't say like, oh, Imam Sahib said, you know, do 10 days of worship and after that, we don't need to come to the masjid anymore. That's not the case. We are desperately in need of the constant mercy and barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the point that I'm trying to make is that we really need to uh, value and understand. <laughs> Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala, who he was a very accessible person. You know, we know Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ke chachazad bait here. Abbas radiallahu ke bete. And he was known as the greatest alim from the Sahaba. From the Sahaba, Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala, who was known as the greatest mufassir of the Quran. Right? This Ibn Abbas, عنه, a young man, he used to give his time to everyone. You know, like in Masjid Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would do durus and he would give his time. Bohut yada work de te te. Right? Fi sabilillah. They can jab ye das ayyam. You know, when these 10 days used to enter, he would lock himself. He would be inaccessible. He would like, you. I need to worship. Go. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the rest of my days. But in these 10 days, I need to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They understood, you know, the, 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 the value and they understood the virtues, the significance of these uh, 10 days. This is the reason why they would like really cordon, they put themselves off from everyone. And I'm not saying do that, right? Don't attend work for 10 days because, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Ibn Abbas did it, so I'm not going to go as well. Right? No. <coughs> that we need to really, we need to frequent the masjid. The masjid, look, subhanAllah, in the month of Ramadan, you come for Dhuhr, you come for Asr, you come for Maghrib, Isha, Fajr. You know, but why is it that the month of Dhul Hijjah will enter and there is no sign? Like, we can't even tell that it's it's such a special. So that is like, we're ignoring the mercy of Allah. We're ignoring the blessings of Allah. So my dear friends, let us um, change our ways. We should be doing this throughout the year. We should be doing this throughout the year. But at least, you know, if it's a sale, then we, we take the way insan, we're humans. When there's a sale, we're running there at 4 a.m. in the morning, we'll be standing outside next. Right? So when when it's a sale and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put that virtue that you keep one rosa, one fast, you will receive the reward of an entire year's fast. You worship Allah in the night, it's as though you will receive the reward as though you have worshipped Allah in Shabi Qadr, in Laylatul Qadr. So why not make the most out of it? So everyone has a separate, everyone has their own timetable, everyone works in, at different hours. We need to now start preparing. Let us start preparing. That there's a possibility tomorrow will be the first of uh, Dhul Hijjah or there is a great chance that it will not be tomorrow, it will be the day after, it will be Sunday. So inshallah, um, for the next 10 days from Sunday inshallah, we intend to have programs at the masjid, even in short programs, after Fajr Salah, Dhikr inshallah, after Zohar Salah, we'll have some halaqa, ta'limi halaqa, where you could rectify your Quran, you could rectify your Salah. It's just so that hum masjid ko abad kare. In the dino mein, hum masjid ko ziyada te ziyada abad kare. Asar ke baad ta'lim bhi hoga, koi dars bhi, dars se hadith, dars se Quran bhi hoga inshallah. Isha ke baad bhi isi tarah, hum, hum in das dino mein masjid ko ziyada se ziyada abad kare. Inshallah, let us beg, look, you know, subhanallah, 65,000 people every year would travel for Hajj from the UK, normally. 60, sorry, not 65, 25,000. That was the quarter from, for Hajj. And normally 2.5 million people perform Hajj, right? This year, only 65,000 people are performing Hajj. So, when you to Hajj, ke barakat se Allah Taala pure alam mein rahmat hai barsate hai. Lekin is saal ko aur guzishna saal ko kya hua? We are lucky, we are desperately in need of the mercy of Allah. If there is, if there were sins that you never committed in your life and you are committing now, possibly it's because we we are desperately in need of the mercy of Allah. If our lives are going haywire, it's possibly because we don't have that rahmah. That one person's cry in Arafah is also having a benefit to us in our lives. Right? But this is not happening. It hasn't happened in the past year. And it hasn't happened in Allah Ta'ala is easy for me. Allah Ta'ala removes these. You know, subhanAllah, this, I don't want to go into politics now. Right? We see what happens when a football match takes place. When it comes to Umrah, Hajj, you know, it's all... So this is a zulm. So we need to pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that we 
you know, Allah removes us, Allah safeguards us, protects us from this zulm so that we can return back and people can return back for Hajj and Umrah and inshallah so that the whole universe, the Muslim Ummah can benefit and the Ummah, the entire nation and the whole creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can benefit from the cries of those Hajis in Arafah. So my dear friends, the, the days of uh, Dhul Hijjah approaching, let us make the most out of it. Another thing is that Qurbani, subhanallah, the, the tenth day is uh, Yawm al-Nahar. Yawm al-Nahar and we have the 10th, 11th, 12th. These are the three days of Qurbani. So, this third go here, Jin ke paas nisab hai. So whoever is uh, uh, is the owner of Nisab, anyone who has over 250 pounds in their accounts or whatever lying around, and it's not like Zakat. Zakat ki tarah nahi hai. Zakat mein ye hota hai ki pura saal guzarne ki zarurat hota hai. Qurbani mein ye hai ki ye jo Qurbani ke jo ayam hai, in mein agar kisi ke paas mal ho jaye to us par Qurbani wajib. So if we and most of our even young children, subhanallah, nowadays they have that amount. So if we know that the amount will be there, then let us start preparing and let us uh, give our qurbani. And, and let me just tell you one thing, young brothers here, you know, those of you who are, in, uh, who are near to the end of your school uh, years or college, even if qurbani is not farz on you, there is no harm in giving a nafal qurbani. A qurbani in a different country um, will cost you no more than 30, 40 pounds. So if you have that amount and if qurbani is not, this year, alhamdulillah, from the madrasa, we did a thingy where 100 qurbanis in Central Africa from our students, 100 qurbani. And we wanted it to be meaningful because qurbani mein itna zyada fayda hai. baat karke khatam kar deta hu. One of my, and you see, look, subhanallah, whatever a'mal and whatever hukum Allah gives us, there is, there is, there are so many benefits to it, whether we see it or not. You know, Qurbani, we do Qurbani, but if you look at it as a global thing, you know, the whole, the, all the Muslims around the world are doing Qurbani. There are people who do not get meat, to eat meat throughout the whole year, but they get it during the time of Qurbani. One of my friends, he went to Uganda and over there they were distributing Qurbani meat and they cooked the meat and, you know, they, they fed people in the masjid. Right, so what happened was um, he was filming, he was just filming people eating and then he asked an individual, when was the last time you had meat? And that person said, it's been over a year, it was the last Qurbani. This is their halat. Lekin ye Qurbani ke ye hai. This is the beauty of Qurbani. So those of us who Qurbani is not wajib, give Qurbani. Even like Sunnah, Nafal, Qurbani. Those of us who Qurbani is wajib, Wallahi al-Azim, don't be stingy and try and get out. Okay, Mawana Sahib, yani, I've got this. So is Qurbani really wajib on me or not? Don't do all of that. Allah Ta'ala ke saath hisab kitab karna, ye ajeeb baat hai. To mere azizo, hum yani, in ayyam ki ziyada, se ziyada qadar kare. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in one hadith said, ke, f, uh, yani, isme jo hai, kasrat se tum tahleel, tahmeed or tasbih, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa la akbar, kasrat se para karo. And Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. This is not only for the day of Eid. This is not only for the day of Eid. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa instructed us from the day Dhul Hijjah starts, that from that day, Umar radiallahu anhu, he used to go to the marketplace and he used to read it so loud that he would remind people that, oh, we need to read our takbirah. So we need to do that, make the most out of it. When you're dropping off your children to the masjid, on the way, read takbir. When you're dropping off your children to school, from these 10 days, start reading Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. On the way to school, on the way back from school, on the way to masjid, on the after, for every salah, make a habit. Kiyab masjid mein aare ho, chal ke aare ho, to takbirat par ke aai. Ye takbirat jo hai, ye das dino ke saath khas hai. You know, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to make the most out of these uh, 10 days. Please keep an eye out. We will have a jam-packed uh, 10 days where you can inshallah benefit. Um, so attend the masjid uh, throughout these 10 days. Inshallah there will be programs uh, after every salah. Subhanallah.